Hello everyone, Tina here. I hope your day is going wonderful. Thank you so much for joining me. Today we're going to create a card for Pretty Pink Posh. It's actually part of an Instagram hop. Um, I hope you can join um, the fun. There's lots of inspiration. It's not too long, which makes it really nice. This We're celebrating the brand new release over at the Pretty Pink Posh shop. So I hope you can join it. Um, if the details for that are over my blog, if you want to head over there. And um, there's some links if you want to check those out. But we're going to create a real quick and easy card using some new items. This here is called, is this is 4 by 6 stamp set. Cute little ghost in here. Um, you know I'm not a spooky Halloween girl. I'm a cutesy. Pretty Pink Posh is all about cutesy. So this is called the Ghost Friends stamp set. We're going to use this on our card along with the coordinating dies. And we're going to use this stencil. This is a three-piece stencil, stencil set called Layered Candy Corns. Love this. Um, and it creates a background that is super duper easy. We're going to use this on our cart. Now this we're not going to use, but I wanted to share with you um, this die set. This is called Candy Treats. If you like candy, and I think this is not just for Halloween, but I think this is great for so many occasions. Birthday cards. Um, Valentine's Day. It's just one of those sets that are, are great for lots of different occasions. I created a card and at the end of this video I'll show you the card that I created using this die set. Um, and the nice thing about this die set is for the most part these are two piece die sets. For example this and this are the same shape but you have the base and then when you die cut this out, it'll die cut out the ends and then the three center pieces. So you can layer on top of it. Same with this one. Um, and that makes it so nice because you don't have to fussy cut out a background um, to do your layering. So that's a nice little die set. So stick around to the end and I'll show you a project using this. It's a really cute project and mine's a Halloween card, but you could switch it out to be a birthday card or just because card. So stick around to the end and I'll show you that project. Um, now we are going to start by doing our stamping first. And then, like I said, this is going to be a quick and easy card. And there's a ghost in here that's holding a pumpkin that I just am in love with. So we're going to take this along with I'm going to put the, take the boo to you. That's going to be our sentiment. And we are going to put these on some acrylic blocks. I'm actually going to stamp this little ghost. We're going to stamp it five times, or no, four times. Because we're going to do a portrait style card. I'm going to stamp. Nice thing about ghosts is they're very easy to color in. So we're going to ink up our ghost and stamp it four times. I thought we would create a bright and colorful Halloween card. You know, Halloween is about oranges and purples and blacks and uh, greens. So I thought we would go outside the box and do some colorful, um, some colorful ghosts and pumpkins. I have a piece of, piece of black card stock before we color in. I'm going to go ahead and use my anti-static powder tool, go over my cardstock, and I'm going to stamp my Boo to You with my Versamark ink, my watermark ink. And then I'm going to go over this with my white embossing powder. And then I'll go ahead and melt this. Okay, so my for the most part, my sentiment's done. I'm going to die cut this out when I die cut my ghost out. But in the meantime, let's do a little bit of coloring. So while I color, I'll play some music for you. And then when I'm done coloring, I will catch you back. Thank you. 
Okay, coloring is all done. We're going to zoom back out. And now we're going to go ahead and take the coordinating dies and we will die cut, die cut out our sentiment and all of our ghosts at the same time. Okay, I just finished die cutting out all my little ghosts and we're going to do our stenciling next. Before we do that though, I do want to layer all of these together. We're going to play some kind of wonky and we need a kind of a color theme here. I think that looks great. And we'll add a little bit of an adhesive behind and I want to make sure that my pumpkins are showing but I want to make sure that they also fit on a portrait style card. Once we have them all together I'm going to flip this around. We're going to take a piece of foam adhesive. I'm just going to use some foam tape and I'm going to go all across all four and then our little ghosts are good to go. I think they're so cute. <laughs> we're going to put this aside and while we're at it, let's put some foam behind our sentiment here. We'll just use some small foam squares. So our sentiment is also good to go. Now we're going to work on our background. For this, we're going to use our three-piece layering layered candy corn stencil. Now, of course, candy corn traditional colors. Um, it's perfect and you can do that with the stencil set, but I'm going to use the same colors that we used basically for our little ghosts and have a real colorful background. I need a background panel and this measures four inches by five and a quarter. So it's going to go straight over my card base and I'm going to add a little pixie spray behind my stencils. Mm -hmm. If you guys haven't really tried pixie spray, um, this is a pretty fabulous stuff. Let's grab my craft mat. And for our first color, well, these are the colors. Let me show you the colors we're going to use. We have Peacock Feathers, Dusty Concord, Squeeze Lemonade, and um, Picked Raspberry. I'm trying to find colors that coordinated well with our little pumpkins over here. But we're going to do a little blending of them together. So we'll start off with our Dusty Concord and I'm just going to use my good old blending brushes here. We'll start with Dusty Concord and what I'm going to do is add to make this a real, let me zoom out a little bit, is I'm going to go at a diagonal with all four of these colors and then we'll do, we're going to switch it up with our next layer. So we're going to add our Dusty Concord once we have this done, we can go ahead and add, um, what's our next color? How about pink? Next color we'll go picked raspberry. These two blend well together. When you put them at a diagonal, you want to make sure that the colors do blend well together. We have this done and then we're going to go in with squeezed lemonade. This makes a really nice orange. I'm going to pull down my pink a little bit to get more of that orange color in here. And then we're going to go in with our final color, which is peacock feathers. We're going to go over the bottom. And I'm going to bring down my yellow a little bit. So this turns it into green. but you can still see the yellow. You see the, the rainbow kind of a color that we got, we're getting. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we can wipe off our stencil. For me, I don't know why, it's just easier to wipe it off when it's on my card. I probably fade out the color a little bit, but I think it just looks good. So there's our first layer, nice rainbow, kind of looks like jelly beans from a distance. <laughs> That's our first layer. And these are index too. I don't know if I mentioned. Let me see. I'm going to go about a quarter of an inch and just line this up for our next layer. First layer we started with purple. So our next layer we're going to switch it out and start with the teal. So we're going to go with peacock feathers and we're going to go at that same diagonal angle. 
and then that is all good. We'll clean off this. And then we can lift this layer up. It's coming along quite nice. I love these colors. And then we have our final stencil. I'm going to put this over here and line it up about a quarter inch off the edge and from the bottom. I'm just making sure for the most part that it's all lined up nice and even here. Now for our third layer, we want to mix around these colors. So I'm going to start with my yellow on the very top. And then we're going to go in with our peacock feathers. Okay, I think that's going to work out great. Go ahead and wipe this off. And then we can see our beautiful candy corn background full of colors. I'm going, what we're going to do next is trim down our panel. We're going to take a quarter inch off the bottom and then we will take another quarter inch off of one side. And then I'll flip this around. We're going to put this on our card base. So we'll just add some adhesive. We'll go ahead and adhere this. We'll remove the release paper off of our ghosts and add this right down the center. We'll add our sentiment and then that will finish off my card. A pretty simple card. Actually, let's bring in some clear um, some sparkle. I'm going to embellish my card with a few Pretty Pink Posh's Sparkling Clear Sequins. And then that will finish off my card today. I hope you can head on over to Instagram and join us for this fabulous Instagram hop. There's lots of inspiration and I think you're going to have fun. There's a giveaway to go with it too. Um, before I go, I did mention that I was going to show you my project made with the candy, um, the candy treats. And this is the card. All with die cuts. How cute is that? So, um, details and pictures for both of these cards are over my blog along with the Instagram information. But have a wonderful day. Thanks for joining me. We will see you soon. Bye-bye.